Ayi, and today I'm going to be talking about how the United States Naval Fleet defeated the Japanese fleet in the Battle of Midway on my birthday in 1942. So what I am going to talk about is the United States was devastated by the Pearl Harbor attack, which destroyed five battleships and crippled the Pacific fleet. This was probably one of the most turning events of Japan's win. After losing the Battle of the Coral Sea in the Lexington, an aircraft carrier sinking, the United States only had three aircraft carriers left. Task Force 17, the Yorktown, and Task Force 16, the Enterprise and Hornet. The Japanese, with Admiral Yamamoto in command decided to play a sneak attack by attacking the Aleutian Islands and then going up towards Midway with a surprise attack in three forces. But it was actually Admiral Chester Nimitz that was actually laying the trap as Nimitz created a trap so that the Japanese could not surprise attack. On June 4th, the Japanese attacked with four of their carriers, the Akagi, Kaga, Huryu, and Soryu. At first, they decided to bomb with Vice Admiral Nagumo on board the Akagi. Nagumo decided to send in a complete fleet out towards the fleet and destroy Midway Island. Now, Midway Island is an island in between the United States and Japan. It's an atoll near the Pearl and Hermes Atoll, the Siansky Island. You can look it up if you want the Battle of Midway Island. It's on Wikipedia. It's everywhere. It is a real battle. I did not make this battle up. It's a real event. So, the Battle of Midway was probably the most prioritized moment for American history in naval history. So... The bombings occurred, and what happened with the bombings is that they landed hits on the hospital and airport of Midway Atoll. They crippled the people there, but they fought back. At the same time, the Enterprise and Hornet had launched a huge horde to attack a fleet with B-29, B-46 bombers and B-52, not B-46, B-46 bombers. They attacked. At the same time, the Akagi decided to go, but Admiral, Rear Admiral Spruance decided to stop. Low on fuel, he found the location of the carriers. He could return to the port or go to attack the, the aircraft carriers. This was considered the most important decision in the battle, as Spruance took a risk to his life, low on fuel, to go and attack the carriers. The cargo was hit first. It was effectively destroyed when five bombs dropped on it, effectively destroying it. Next, the Soryu was bombed and a huge fireball engulfed it, creating it useless also, and they abandoned ship. Also, Nagumo was trying to attack, but he could not take the victory. And right as he was about to launch his plane, a horde came in of dive bombers and took out the Akagi. This crippled the fleet as there was only one carrier left, the Huryu. The Huryu launched a horde of 19 planes. Five were shot down in the middle, and when they arrived to the Yorktown, the carrier they knew of, they bombed it. The Yorktown was in danger, but was could still launch planes. Next, the Yorktown fired an offensive on it, but again, they shot the things down. The Huryu launched one more wave of torpedo bombers, and two torpedoes hit the side of the Yorktown. It listed 26.3 degrees, and the flight deck literally touched the water. Even though America lost their carrier, the Yorktown, the Japanese were bombed, the Huryu was bombed by Enterprise and Hornet's fleet of 74 planes and dive bombed straight on the Huryu. The Huryu effectively was destroyed. It was the first win for America and America would have the upper hand 
in the upcoming naval battles and it would change the tide of the war. This was probably one of the most important events in American naval history as they managed to sink four Japanese aircraft carriers, but the Americans only lost one aircraft carrier with half the amount they had. Thank you for listening. Uh, guys, thanks for listening. Just leave a like up and say thanks. Comment down below about how, what I did and if I was good and those things. Next, I also want you to slap that bell if you want notifications. If you don't want any notifications, don't slap that bell. Mm -mm, don't slap that bell if you don't want any notifications. Finally, please comment, like, subscribe, and slap the bell if you want notifications. If you don't, you can unslap the bell. Thank you. And again, I have one last thing to tell you. Text your friends to text their friends to text their friends to text their friends to text their friends and so on to subscribe to Yayo604. Thank you and bye-bye.